sending your mother a treat on Mother's Day is an excellent way to show her how much she means to you. We've been thinking of a few things as we start to plan out this Mother's Day celebration. And in the spirit of this occasion, here are some things you can do with your mom on Mother's Day. I am Funke Oyele, the host of Baker's World. The show that brings you trending cake recipes, cake decorations, cake shows, and all you need to know about the cake and sugar craft industry. Mothers are precious and deserve to be celebrated all the time. To commemorate this year's Mother's Day celebration, Baker's World has a special package for you. Our guest, Grace Edache, is a pleasant and amiable baker. She will show us how to bake a pastry suitable for moms. We will be having an inspiring, engaging and exciting conversation with her. Watch our guest unleash creativity as she decorates a befitting cake for a Mother's Day celebration. All these and more for you on Baker's World this week. Grace Onyeche Edache was born in Makudi, Benue State, to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel Ono. She is from Ohimini local government area in Benue State. She had her primary education at Makudi International School, after which Grace proceeded to Federal Government Girls College for her secondary education. Grace Edache is a Geography and Planning graduate from the University of Jos, Plateau State. Our intelligent and amiable guest was the best female graduating student from the Faculty of Environmental Sciences in 2005. Though a gifted student, Grace had an unexplainable passion for baking, art, and sugar crafting, which made her enroll at a baking school in Makudi after graduating. Being a fearless learner, Grace attended various international sugar craft training sessions to upskill her skill. She is the creative director of Grace Oven Bake Shop and has countless masterpieces to her credit. She is happily married and blessed with two beautiful daughters. Come along with us as we chat with this pleasant, industrious and super creative cake artist, Grace Onyeche Edache. You're welcome back. You're still watching Baker's World on NT. Today I have with me a lovely woman, a mother, and a baker. She's going to be having a lot of discussion with us today. You're welcome to Baker's World. Thank you very much. This week is Mother's Day week. Okay. And a client comes to you and she's like, uh, Grace, I need to present my mom with a very unique cake. How do you come up with the inspiration to give a dazzling idea or design for a cake? When you say Mother's Day, my mind is drawn immediately to the power of a woman, her input in the home, her input in the society. She's the one who is able to multitask and still put a smile even, she's, even when she's drained. So for me, the first thing I want to, that I will have in mind is creating something that depicts a mother and a child and the work she puts into controlling her home. She could be a wife, a boss, and then still be a mother. So for me, the first thing I'm drawn to is I create something that tells that there's, there's, there's strength in this woman. She's able to run her home, take care of the children, and at the same time be glamorous. And that's why colors have to also be part of what you'll be creating. Okay. Um, you know, for some of our viewers, not a... Uh, of course, a lot of them are not bakers, okay. but they will still love to, you know, prepare something. something unique by themselves. What would you recommend? What type of um, cake will you uh, or pastry will you recommend that they go for that is easy for them to make? 
a home baker or somebody who wants to try her hands in baking maybe do something special Just for your mom prepare something special yes i can say most mothers like um cakes that have low sugar so you could try the carrot cake you could try banana bread banana bread is so simple you put everything in your blender mix it up and then you have a good treat with nuts you can mix it up and have toppings that are like almond nuts you know even in the banana bread you can have almond flour something that is um healthy have oats and all to just give it a good finish okay. so you have um quite a good knowledge of um food photography how important would you say photography is to the cake people who are in the cake business for the 21st century business person you cannot separate photography from your work be it cake or any other field right because the photography interpret your work properly to the mind of the audience you do a good job but the photo tells the story for me on um with photography it's my perfect way of having a beautiful archive of all the work that we do you do a work and you take shabby pictures it might be beautiful but the ambience the setup all that you put in place was not done right and then it makes the work look shabby so you could have done a good work but the photo you take downplays what you have done so you cannot but pay attention to photography you know a typical african woman does it all mm. they work very hard yeah they are homemakers they have their businesses some are um office workers just because uh, women african women are all of us sometimes they f tend to forget to you know take care of themselves yeah. personally yeah if you have to advise you know that um, woman out there how to like still combine it all and include themselves while trying to make everything work okay so i'll be advising them and also advising myself <laughs> because you must have a work-life balance and having a work-life balance it starts with first having a cooperating spouse who understands that you have an elastic limit yeah. mm. and so you must also be ready to be a good homemaker and if you want to be a good homemaker you can't do it all outside so there should be a time limit where you say okay this is the time for business this is time for family and this is time to be me because if you're not healthy if mommy is not happy, everybody is not happy. Yes, and you don't want if mommy, mommy to break down. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you don't take a break, every other person suffers. But sometimes it is realistic to say like this, but there are people who go through a lot. They might have so much financial constraint that they have no choice but to keep working around the clock. But if you keep working, just take, take a moment, do a health check. Take a moment, have a good laugh. Take a moment, spend time with your children. If it's so difficult, let the children continue to even do the work with you. Give us some more ideas of, you know, what one can package together, you know, mm. to give that special treat to, you know, one's mom on Mother's Day. Like I want to wake up in the morning and my husband says, Happy Mother's Day first. Ooh, that's nice. And so they, that's... They, they intend, no, not just that, the, inten <laughs> <laughs> the intention matters first and so no mother would like it when every other person is saying happy mother's day and she left the house nobody told her yes, you know so you just just say to a mother happy mother's day and you get a gift a cake you can get you may like wrappers so if i were to give my mother i would buy her a wrapper yeah. i know she but when you buy the wrapper you give her the money for sewing <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. so that you don't create more problems for her there are some persons back home, you can package food stuff, seal it, even if they are far from you. You can send it through any of the logistic companies sent to them, appreciating your mother. That's mm. very nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. It's really been a pleasure having this chat with you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. That was our conversation with the CEO of Grace Oven, Grace Adachi. Now we'll take a quick break here and when we return, we have Baker's Juice on the lineup for you. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. We are now on the streets to get the opinion of people on how they celebrate their mothers, especially on Mother's Day. 
Even though we know they could never be repaid for all the love, affection and mercy they've shown to us, we still want to know how other people try to please them. Let's hear what people have to say. Yeah, I actually called her, hence we're not together here. So I called her and then sent her some money and all that to make sure she is doing very well. Um, well, we all know mothers are wonderful, they are heroes. Uh, but for some of us that don't have our mothers, well, when they were around, what we would do is try and get gifts, you know, rally around them. If we go to work, come back, spend the whole day, have a little feast, and just celebrate them as they are. But I feel you should celebrate your mothers every day. I'm a man, and uh, I cherish my mother than any other thing. Because if you can cherish your mother, and automatically your wife at home, is standing the gap for you as a mother as well. And they need to be celebrated because it's not easy for a woman to, you know, to keep you for nine months in a womb. Well, to my mom, to me, every day is Mother's Day, so I don't wait till Mother's Day before I celebrate my mom. But even if I want to on a Mother's Day, the first thing is to call her and then at least put a picture on all my social media platforms, get her gifts, even though she's not really a gift person, but I always make sure I get her gifts. I celebrate her in different ways, you know, yeah. like by sending her gifts. From what we have heard, mothers are warriors who will do anything or defeat any obstacle for the happiness and safety of their children. Try to celebrate that beautiful mother of yours today. Happy Mother's Day. Grace Oven will be showing us how to make an easy pastry recipe, a corn dog. And she'll be decorating a cake with a Mother's Day theme. I'm ready to learn and be inspired. Let's get started. Let's get started with our corn dog recipe. We'll be using our sausage. We'll be using flour, sugar, milk, egg, and sugar. Very simple. A mother and child can have it at home. So then it's fast and easy to execute. So quickly, the rule of baking, dry ingredients, wet ingredients. So I will put my, I have a cup of flour. Not too sweet. I have two tablespoons of sugar. Then quickly use your whisk and then have the wet, the dry ingredient blend properly. Then in the middle, I will put my wet ingredient, just one egg. So I'll put an egg and then I'll put half a cup of milk. Please follow me as we enjoy the process. Half a cup of milk. And then we stir. Just mix it till you get a very fine paste. Using the whisk will help you clear every lump in it. So this is done. And I don't want it bare, so I'll just put a little flavor because of the heat. So I'm using a vanilla flavor, just a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. is done now I have my uh, my sausage I will just insert it into a skewer they are shorter ones so I don't want it this long just divide into two so I transferred my batter into a cup so it make it easy for us to dip in the sausage and then fry so to get started I would first of all just dab a bit with cornstarch mm. If you don't want to do that, you can take your brush, brush it a little, and then you dip. Let the excess fall down, and then you fry. I'm not going to do this alone. I'm going to do this with Funke to make it interesting. Funke, let's go so she can prepare it at home with her daughter.
So the cornstarch is to help the batter stick to the sausage. Mm. And if you don't have cornstarch at home, you can use a little flour. So we are done making our corn dogs out of sausage. Um, this is a very quick and simple recipe to be shared at home. To enjoy it with my kids, I usually use ketchup. Just drizzle the ketchup on it. Uh -huh. This is yummy. I'll, give, I'll hand over it to Funke to taste. But from here, I'm going to now work on the Mother's Day themed cake. It's an exquisite design representing the role of mothers and the hard work they put into what they do. Thank you. I'm actually a passionate baker. I don't rest until everything is done. When I entered university, anytime I'm broke, I'll make cupcakes and go and sell to the other students. Decorating cake is, it's an artistic thing and art is, you know, dynamic. Join us on Baker's World every Thursday on the network service of the NTA. Baker's World. I'll be taking you through how to make a simple but exquisite cake celebrating the Mother's Day. I'll be creating this cake in fondant and then create a design that depicts a mother and a child and the energy and the beautiful impact a woman creates in the home and in the world at large. Today I have um, an all vanilla cake. This is 8 inch by 11.5 in height. It's quite a high cake. And I'm going to be covering the cake using fondant and the paneling method. So I'm going to panel, so I'm going to roll in four sides. So let's go together. To panel, I will have four sides. I told you it's by eight. I'll just pick it up and then I gently place it on my cake. So one side covered. I'm going to repeat this for all four sides. So let's begin to create our sharp edges. So with your smoothener, you use both edges are sharp so you can actually cut So we are done covering our cake in fondant using the paneling method. I'm going to airbrush this cake to give you some form of color and a beautiful texture.
you have airbrushed, you just try to create different colors to make it a little bit um, colorful. I have different things I'm going to use to decorate the cake. So I have my my rice puff. I use a little vegetable shortening to hold it. So now I'll add some flowers just to give it like pop. You know that we would like to be flamboyant, so just like to, despite how things are, there's still life. I'm going to airbrush my, my rice paper a bit. So there you have it. We have our Mother's Day team cake. I hope you enjoyed the process. is definitely Instagram worthy. Thank you very oh, much. Very, very lovely. Thank you. you know, I can see someone's face lighting up when they receive something oh, like this. I hope it's a mother who gets encouraged. <laughs> <laughs> and the conduct, very easy to make. Yeah. I think you should have a taste of this. You should. You should. You can actually pick it with the skewer. We actually but... made this together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now my heart is beating. <laughs> Say something. It's actually very yummy. I love it. I think anyone will enjoy this. Okay. And you know what? I would definitely like it. If I get something <laughs> like this on Mother's Day too. Okay. You that's did an excellent job here. Thank you. You know, if you want an elaborate cake design, you can go for something very wow in effect like this. But if you prefer a simple recipe, you can go for the condom recipe. And if you're stuck on any creative ideas, why we have the pros, you can order up any treat you want from others. They all the matter is to put a smile on that lovely lady. And this is where we end the program for today. So we'll come your way next week with a more interesting episode of Baker's World. I am here for you. See you next week. Mm -hmm.